Last weekend was Wave Gothic Treffen, the biggest goth festival in the world and the highlight of the year for me. But I didn't have enough money to go. This weekend I'm supposed to be vlogging Rock am Ring, a massive rock music festival in Germany. But uh, again, couldn't make it. So, <laughs> what? Bitter? Me? I'm not bitter. What do you, what do you mean bitter? So this weekend we have come to Omaru, a small to medium sized town in New Zealand's South Island, uh, which is trying to build a reputation as steampunk capital of the world. We've come to the special little steampunk weekend that they're putting on. The weather's supposed to turn to custard tomorrow, so we're just here for the day. We're here to look at people in costumes and see some creative doodads. It smells... We're near the harbour. There's a wee Victorian precinct here, so we thought we'd have a wee look at that. I was like, oh, it smells like harbour, but Mr. Al, who is here, you can't see him. Hey, what's up? Would you say it smelled like? Uh, I said it smelled very specifically of seal. Yeah, it smells like seals. If you know what that smells like. <laughs> I don't really know where to go, so we're just going to go exploring, I suppose. See some Victorian futuristic creativity. I expect we'll be seeing a lot of corsets worn on the outside. Something I'm very judgy about because it's something that Victorians did not do. It'd be a bit like wearing a bra on the outside now, wouldn't it? Neither of us are wearing anything remote, remotely Victorian because all of our stuff is in um, storage still. We're on a family outing. Both of them are... Hi. Hi. Both of them are sort of sleeping at the moment. Oh, wonderful. I have got the sun in my eyes and I can't see a thing. Hello Montrose, you ready for an adventure? A trip back and forward in time? Penny Farthing Carousel? I so want to do this. <laughs> wow, you look amazing, pretty colourful. Oh my goodness. I would definitely wear this. Yeah. Hysterical fits most common in nervous girls and women. <laughs> oh, it's the bloody place. You'll get more than that, mate. It's the other thing that Omaru is known for. Omaru stone. Very nice, bright white building material. Hashtag mildly interesting. Temperance or temptation, which would you choose? Temperance, always. Oh my god, I bought a mirror that looks exactly like this one like a few days ago. Oh look, a cinematograph. This is pretty much just like exactly how I decorate a house anyway, but with more black. Ah, central. Alright. I'm not period appropriate. I just put oh, on. Oh, it doesn't. How can it? Does any attitude you like? You look amazing. Oh, I'm just Just your everyday look. Yeah. yeah. I know that it's all the quirky hats and things that are on sale, but I'm just, I can't stop looking at the frames that are being used to display things because I, I'm collecting them. So I'm just like, ooh, nice frames. The creations are also nice, but frames. Are these the creative luggages? I know there was like a creative luggage contest. Lady Sarsaparilla Overbite from the Coventry Overbites. <laughs> Portable observation station. I like this one. It's like a living room in a suitcase. Actually, it's what my living room is starting to look like. What on earth is going on out here? And we're on earth with my baby. I think someone's being roped into parasol dueling. See, I'm pretty sure those are just umbrellas. Parasol dueling. Parasol dueling. So a lady would compete against another lady. Just the fact that she was prettier. Slimmer. Well, then I've got a lot of gripes. Everyone being prettier and slimmer than me. I appear to have lost my entire family. Oh well. Wow, you look so cool. I like that there's a kettle on this one. Got his priority sorted out. It's really cute, isn't it? 
Yeah? Absolutely. This is luxury compared to the van I used to live in. <laughs> I feel like most of the people who get into steampunk tend to be retired people because they have the free time and often the money to like, make these sorts of things. Got to have your car phone. In this case, airplane phone. <laughs> Little bit. Well, this is a bit flash, isn't it? Very fancy. I don't even know what I'm looking at. What's that? Doris Plum Cider. It's nice. I always thought Doris Plum would be like a cute name for a character. You know, Victorian food was nothing like this. It was all like brains and fat and sewage and it was disgusting. Well, it is King's birthday weekend. It's our first King's birthday weekend. Is it his official birthday or his real birthday? So I'll have a drink to the new King. God save him. <laughs> We've moved outside to where it's not so hot and are inflicting our presence on a bunch of well-dressed strangers. I can now say that I've met the king and I can say that he said that I looked fantastic. Yeah, the monarch for The for monarch me. formerly known as Prince. <laughs> mm. so, can I take a photo with you? Oh, sure. you for ages. Really? <laughs> I can't even remember how to play the songs that we wrote. Can you remember the next bit? No. Dun, dun, dun. Except that it changed to G. Look, just play something we all know. I, I can't. You did awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. yeah, but I don't, I don't know how it goes, but yeah. I don't remember how to play it because it's been like eight years. Wow. <laughs> I can't remember how to play any of our songs. It was a Victorian themed band. So it would have been delightfully appropriate, but never mind. I feel like I'm just a pair of boobs walking around. It's a little bit tight, this coat. I figure if, if people are just looking at my boobs, they won't notice how bad the rest of me looks. Sorry, am I in your picture? No, 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 it's all right. I mean, it's good if you're in my picture. Very smart. Oh, wow. Oh, this place is cool. It smells like my dad's house in here. Oh, thank you. We've come down to the seal smelling harbor. Apparently it's beautiful and there might be penguins. A wee sign I looked at before informed me of how many penguins came ashore yes, right. last night. They tell you every day how many came every back. Every day they rem <laughs> It's a bit <laughs> grim if you ask me. That's somebody's job is penguin counting. Actually my dad did that in Antarctica. Yeah. He counted penguins. I mean someone has to do it. There was a wee thing on Facebook if there was a, a scented candle that smelled like your hometown what would it smell like? And I said feral penguins and haggis. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been a replacement for Vic T Rock'em Ring? Absolutely not, but it's nice to do things when it's possible to do them. And someone pointed out that they weren't able to do any kind of steampunk fair here at all in the last few years, so they're all quite happy to be able to do something at all. Steampunk's an interesting sort of subculture because unlike most other subcultures like goth and punk, which start from music, Steampunk started from literature. Mm -hmm. So people are like, what, what's a steampunk band sound like? It's like, well, there aren't any. Yeah, let, let's make one. <laughs> exactly, it's like, what does it sound like? I reckon it would sound like musical. Look, if we see a penguin, we see a penguin. If we don't, we I just get- a seal. We just get cold. I fear the ancient marinere. I fear thy skinny hand. <laughs> For thou art long and lank and brown, as is the ribbed sea sand. Okay, this is absolutely one of the strangest playgrounds I think I've seen actually. There's a bloke at the top of the big penny farthing. Well, we're gonna go there. I kind of want to play on the flying fox, but everyone will laugh at me. Because I'm not like seven. Can't run away. Oh, it's a little bit scary. <laughs> Apparently my camera died halfway through that feat of death-defying terror. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry this wasn't as interesting as going to VET or Rock'em Ring, but it's always next year. It's always next year. Well, thank you for coming to Omaru with us. We met a lot of nice people today, I think. We met a lot of nice people. We met a lot of nice people. We saw a lot of creative stuff. We smelled. We didn't see any penguins, but we smelled them. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. You know you want to. That would be nice. Take care of yourself. Be nice to each other. Stay steamy. <laughs> and I'll see you next Call time. like somebody who screams like a tiny frightened child. It was genuinely a bit scary, okay? <laughs> when they go down a zipline. Okay, see you next time. Bye!